All right, Norman. Let's see what you've got going on. I wonder if he's in a busy phone call with, like, Fisk. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? We should record this. Statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. Morally acceptable B&E. Yeah, that's a, that's a good Jackpot. summary of it. Thankfully, he's left his computer alone and we'll probably walk in as we hack this. GR27. Hmm. Next slide. Oh wow, they have a, Michaels a PowerPoint. Is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. Okay, audit material submitted by GR27 Chief Scientist Dr. Morgan My uh, Michaels. Summarize your status. Uh, GR27 status: expedients and risks. AI-controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease: cystic fibrosis, Huntington's. This Whoa. is crazy. Okay. Is that dragon's breath? High efficient uh, uh, efficacy. I think that's how it's said. Consistent results. The bad. Viral delivery mechanism incorrectly targets immune system. Infected subjects highly contagious. One subject exposed. Seven days later, all 40 subjects deceased. Okay, yeah, that is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it cures all diseases, but gives you a really bad one that kills everybody around you and you. Yikes. Easy. Okay. Wow. GR27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. One infected subject could trigger a global epidemic. Lab techs nicknamed it Devil's Breath. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Continue development question mark? Mr. Osborne believes the reward is worth the risk. I like that. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's kind of like a passive aggressive thing, like, well, Mr. Mor you know, Mr. Osborne thinks it's good. Uh, I'm not gonna say that I don't know, but, hmm. Maintain secrecy. This gets out. PR nightmare. Could bring down all of Oscorp. Mitigate risk of exposure. Dr. Michael should keep only sample on his person at all times. Man. Maybe you should, like, just destroy the only sample and just keep files on how to make it? That's probably a little bit less of a risk. If he, like, drops the vial and it, like, seeps through and infects him, the world's fucked, right? Yeah, a file could be taken too, but if it was a paper file, and it was the only paper file, it'd basically be the same thing. Except without the chance of people dying if it's, like, mysteriously dropped or something. Hey, Pete. What's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Stanish is being held at Sable Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards! How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Oh Echo my god. Partner. Again? Sneaking into a sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Oh, MJ. She keeps doing all these sneaking sections. I don't even like sneaking around. But we're gonna go there and she's gonna be like, Oh yeah, Spider-Man. You know, oh yeah, Pete. Here's what I did ten minutes ago. And then we just hide behind shit a whole bunch and overhear people. Just, lady, you could just give us a summary of what happened. I Looks like it, Doc checked it. That's what she's doing to him in person. I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. Eh. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. 
He's not too excited. Yeah, Pete, we... Dr. Octavius has given us, like, 50 billion red flags every single time he's uttered a word ever since Audited. Norman. Masked terrorists reportedly have an armed bomb. Didn't I get this already? Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still use this film. Huh. I guess maybe not. Alright. We almost have all the backpacks. Too bad there's still a whole bunch of other things on the map for us to find. Okay. What's going on here? Do you want to explode too? This is a delicate work. Don't rush me. Well, aren't you guys ready to sacrifice yourselves? Hey. What's going on here, man? What's the situation, officer? Another set of bombs rigged by the demons. Disable the primary device. Then use the arming key to kill the secondaries. Giddy up. All right, yeah, okay, we got that. Disarm the bomb. Can't let that stand, and we don't have any... any limits as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, that's a lot of them. Eh! I said no more city halls, and I meant it! House, kind of. Whoa! I was kind of hoping to web bomb all of them, but I eh, didn't get in time. Ooh, I almost dodged right back into that. Uh, get rid of the shield! Wow! Fucking, I was in the middle of something, buddy. Okay. Well, at the very least, I don't have to deal with the shields anymore. And they haven't started setting up the bombs just yet, so that's good. I don't think so. Whoa, bam! All right, time to get that arming key. That's like the only person I believe survives <laughs> being tossed off the building. I docked him straight onto a different one, but fine. Bomb Ooh. triggers wired in series. Oh right, we're doing this whole thing. Gotcha. Okay, so what do you want from us? We have to get to a target voltage of three, so... Obviously... We're gonna have to do a couple of additions here. So we'll do plus three. Minus one. And then, can I get another plus three? No. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'll do instead. I'll do a one, and then the three. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the only way we're gonna get a three, uh, consistently. There, got the key. One down. Secondary bombs are on a timer, though. Gotta hurry to disarm them. Wow, two minutes? That's a lot of time. Holy shit! Uh, a little busy. Bomb's the priority. I'll just have to dodge the bullets. Or, hear me out, I could equip my bulletproof suit. Did I never, I never made the bulletproof suit. Right, right. This works. Try it, boys. <laughs> it ain't happening! I'm prepared! <laughs> Fire away all you want! I have the technology. It might stick a little bit underneath the suit, but that's okay. Time to KO those snipers. Impressive but futile! I like these guys. I like that they, uh, they have these taunts. You know, I guess maybe these guys aren't really corrupted by Mr. Lee. Maybe they're just legit, like, cultist crazy guys who just believe in the things Mr. Lee says. Dude, that guy's dead. Okay, he just took a straight sniper shot to his back. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, I tried to toss him off the building. I'm bad. I'm a I bad person. Great work, Spider-Man. Happy to help, officer. Stay safe. 
Alright. I've leveled up like three times. I don't even know what I I wanted from the past, but ooh. Do this. I still want to use the, like, the Mr. Negative powers or the negative shock wave. See how that ends up working out. Knock over a bunch of people. That's always good. So we have two skill points available. Oh, I thought we leveled up three times. I guess I was wrong. I don't remember what path we were going down beforehand. But we've got the a pretty large majority of the abilities at this point, so... It's just what I really, really want. What is this? Throw an object's damage all nearby enemies. That could be solid. Epicenter, ground strike has a larger blast that can knock enemies down when used from higher elevations. I forgot I even had that. Uh, we're gonna go for... The throne ability, the collateral damage, because I, I I think I throw objects a little bit more than everything else. Woo, bam! Sorry, I, I was just testing my powers, and I just don't know how strong I am. Requesting status update from Museum Mile. Control, rooftop outpost under fire from demons. Don't worry, Sable. I'm on my way to make up for your failings. The enemy of my enemy is probably also my enemy, but I still gotta shut this down. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. Fire! If we kill this, if we crush, if we kill Spider-Man, we crush the city's morale. You know that's uh that guy's very quick at thinking on his feet. That guy needed a promotion. Too bad he's in jail now. Well, about to be in jail. I tried to use my negative shockwave, but uh, Silver I had him recharged. Oh, air throw three enemies. My bad. Forgot about my objectives. Okay, now if the criminals would like to stop doing crime, so I can go off and continue to save the world. That'd be good. Crap. Oh wow, that was fast. I think we we missed something. Reaching. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. What we just yeah, saw just somewhere in there. That she fails at sneaking. Guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. Oh, these are lures? I thought they were just gonna be like web bombs. So how do you, how do I do this? Promising. Just need to distract the guard. Hold L2. Yeah, okay. Hold L2. Enemies with the green outline are in the distraction range. How far can I toss it? Eh, an okay distance. Whose idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? <laughs> Look, just worry That's about that later. What was that? Got to move. Now. <laughs> you see, here's a Check on our house guest. problem. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Imagining things. When we toss these and they see that the sound's coming from the lure... Need to draw him away from the stairs. Will that do anything? Will they just find it and be like, Spider-Man's here? I feel like that's dangerous. Here, go that way. What the? Just in case. I wonder if I have an infinite number of these just for gameplay reasons. Oh. What's that? Hello. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Well, that's fine. Well, we're here to save him. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. There's his man bun again. 
He didn't need to let it down. He's just like, eh, it's just a normal day. The man bun stays. I couldn't even entertain the notion of a man bun. Standish is secure, ma'am. Lock out comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's breath. On it. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels. Continuing sweep. Oh, I was just gonna use a lure, but I guess I could trigger a little power outage. Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. Go that way. Control. I heard something. Running a sweep. That guy's that guy's smart. Oh, he almost saw me. <gasps> Go away! Stop right there! Ah! You were spotted! God! I was spotted ten seconds too early. <laughs> that guy deserves a promotion, though. He called it in! I won't distract him for long. I always feel nervous in games where I can, like, hide behind stuff. But I can't, like, actually attach myself to it. Okay. I guess it would have been better if I had just not tried to distract this one guy. Let him do his own thing. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michael's moved to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. You could always put a tracker on the truck. Stay alert. I think we got company. Watch your sixes, men. Yeah, I think we got company. And they go around pushing over toolboxes right behind me. I got nothing. Resuming control. Uh, generator must have blown a fuse. Yep, all the generators are blowing fuses simultaneously. Where the hell am I going here? Get that truck moving. Should have been uptown half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Truck's about to move. Should use it as cover. Oh shit. Go, go, go. This is real fucking risky. <sighs> Made it. But it was also real clever, I'll give you that. Yeah, if I were sneaking around in real life, I'd just be caught in like the first Welcome 10 seconds. Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Understood, ma'am. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. Yep. I mean, for all we know, maybe Martin Lee can go around and just like possess everybody in the city and just attack you a full, you know, full frontal force. What was that? Well, I'm not sure. <gasps> the boxes! God, you're kidding me. <laughs> what bad timing on that? Okay, alright. Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation. Add Let's just give it a little bit more of a wide, wide berth, right? Wide girth, or right? I don't actually, I don't know what I was trying to say. Get out of here. Might have something, control. Stand by. Ha ha ha! It's all about That's speed. Important. Safe houses. If Doctor Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Gotta move. There, Standish's tent. I can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Yeah, we have this whole gang here of uh, mercenaries who know about devil's breath. Again? What's up with these lights? <laughs> That's real interesting. I was about to say, do I do I do I go between them? <sighs> Close. Could really use a coffee. Come on. 
Come on, come on. <gasps> that was close. Okay. Once these guys pass by, we just throw the lure off to the side. Stay alert. I think we got company. So this guy doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Glad these guys are deaf. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh, what the that was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Get the back up over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. Well, he knows probably a lot of things. I tripped, and also the roof exploded. <laughs> the roof exploding made me trip. I want to know. If they're gonna go in the direction and actually have the infection start, we'll probably stop it. But uh, you know, we had that whole terrorist thing. They went there. Well, that was maybe well, the most awkward again. swing of my life. MJ is not happy. <laughs> Our bad. We came in a little bit too early. I thought she was gonna get shot. But once he put down the gun, I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna turn out to not be what we think it is. Hey, okay. Another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ? No, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. You know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. What? Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? <laughs> Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was. <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter, that's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Oh my god. Man, I'm working. Really? Out. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Yeah, yeah, alright. I'll do I'll do a couple of things before the next story mission starts. I are you fucking serious? Of course we're gonna be worried. We're a fucking superhero. Our entire shtick is that we're worried about everyone and want to save everybody. This is why we broke up. I'm not made out of glass. Yeah, but you are made out of meat and bones. Okay, one wrong trip in life and you fucking can die. All right? See Charles there. You could have hit his head on the fucking floor at the wrong fucking angle. Come Dead. On. Right there. Because he tripped. One. So yeah, sometimes a little bit of paranoia isn't terrible. Ugh, this fucking... Pigeon shit. Uh, if you're too well, close to the well, pigeon too fast. Hello? Mr. Parker? What? It's Dreal Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feed shelter. Oh, he got I'm it. Too. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. 
He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Ed May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Good, good. I'm glad that Miles Morales is, is getting out there. And we're probably going to interact with him a whole lot more now. Because we'll see him at the Fee Center, and maybe he'll be doing oh, some things too. Spider-Man, you're a prince. You're just found for nothing in the law. <laughs> I love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, Oof. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moving. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. You got it, buddy. All right, we have a side mission here. We're probably gonna have a... a story prompt come up just because I just did that little side mission. Although it wasn't technically a side mission, it was me saving a bird. But it was still a little bit of progression, and I never know how much progression you need to do before the story tries to pop up again. I'm glad they try to break it up, though. They go, okay, he just did a big mission. Take a break, player, do something on the side, and then come back. What are these? Oh, these are... I didn't realize the icon for these kind of looks like a drone. Holy shit, 40,000 minimum score? I mean, it's probably not too bad once we actually go and complete it, but man. Okay. So I guess I'll do this little side mission. Oh, I guess to continue what I was saying beforehand, I, I, I'm with Petey on this side, okay? She was there. You could trip. You could die at any moment. You get hit by a car. Or you could get shot by armed guards that you're literally around the corner from. That is the dumbest fucking thing. Yeah, PD probably shouldn't be too overprotective, I understand that. But, uh, there's a point where you have to- you gotta get off your bullshit. There we go, Otto. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry, my bus broke down and there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hmm... Dr. Otto is trying to do things. I think I'll head over to him. That's a very important kind of thing to work through. I need to see what exactly we can do to try to prevent him from giving Dr. Octopus, but it's probably an inevitability. It's always in his blood and in his mind to go forward too far and fall to the side of darkness. But maybe not this time. Maybe he'll be a good Dr. Octopus. That'd be nice. Oh, there's a side mission right here. I looked at that, I just didn't realize it was by the lab. 